I am the Empress that Outworld deserves. But I am the one it needs! Uncanny Carlos. Welcome to another unboxing video, my friends. The Melina 1 3rd scale classic statue by PCS has finally arrived. It's been about a year since I unboxed the Jade 1 3rd scale statue by PCS. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. Now Melina joins the collection. Melina is one of my favorite characters of all time. So I'm super happy to add this half Edenian, half Tarkatan to my collection. Melina is one of the most popular and beloved characters in Mortal Kombat. Melina made her debut in Mortal Kombat 2 back in 1993. A mutant hybrid clone of Katana created by the sorcerer Shang Tsung. Melina uses a mask to hide her monstrous mouth made of razor sharp Tarkatan teeth. She fights using a pair of size and her Tarkatan teeth which she uses to crush her opponent's bones. Melina's goal has always been to kill her sister Katana and claim her existence for her own. She has even pretended to be Katana, including in Mortal Kombat Deception. Her origin story was modified in the new Mortal Kombat 1 timeline, but her brutality still remains. Melina is now the older twin sister of Katana and the daughter of Sindel, but is infected with the lethal Tarkat disease. As Sindel's firstborn, Melina is the heir to the Outworld throne after Sindel passes away. Let's see how long she can keep her throne in this new era. Melina has appeared in most Mortal Kombat games, movies, shows, merchandise, and has even been featured in Playboy. Alright amigos, enough with this Melina history lesson. Let's unbox this beauty immediately. The box is beautiful. I love the Melina and Mortal Kombat art all around. Make sure to pay attention to the box because it tells you which side is the bottom and top. You never want to open the box on the wrong side because you can risk pieces falling off and breaking. As you guys know, I always wear gloves to protect my statues from oil. The base is awesome because it is based on a bloody version of the famous Deadpool stage. The paint is very bright and shiny, it almost looks translucent. It reminds me of the Deadpool stage fatality when the acid turns bloody red after a combatant is thrown in there. This classic Melina 1 3rd kill statue is very limited. Only 200 of these were made in the world. I have number 27 out of 200. This statue is really heavy, so you need to be careful to not drop it. Her left foot has a magnet spike that goes in the base easily. Her size looks so badass, exaggerated long and ready to hunt. They look delicate so I'll need to be super careful. 
Okay guys, so this statue was originally supposed to have two portraits, a masked with bun version and an unmasked with hair down version. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers did not approve the unmasked portraits that PCS proposed. So PCS was only able to include one portrait. This is extremely disappointing because this statue costs the same as the Jade and Katana one third scale statues that do come with the second portrait. In other words, you're paying the same amount for this statue, but you're only getting one portrait. Melina's mouth is so iconic, so it is a real pity that her mouth isn't featured in this amazing statue. I remain hopeful that PCS will provide a second portrait in the future. The height is 30 inches. Width is 14 inches. and depth is 13 inches. The red paint used for her bloody base is so vibrant and pops so much. Incredible job PCS. I love her elegant and sexy pose. This statue is made out of polystone and is fully sculpted like the Mortal Kombat X line of statues. The only fabric on this statue is the mesh and leather on her chest. Her demonic Tarkatan eyes look fantastic. I love the hint of yellows in her spooky eyes. The paint job is breathtaking. I love the glossy purple with the contrast of the matte black. Mortal Kombat 11 took these classic skins to the next level by giving them this amazing texture that PCS did such a great job in bringing to life. I love this texture. Look at it. It's amazing. Look at that texture and detail. Superb. Melina has a nice booty of course because she's Kitana's clone. Her boots also look fantastic. I love those bones floating in the Deadpool. This statue is expensive, but I am very satisfied with my purchase regardless of the missing second portrait. Overall, I love this statue and I highly recommend to other Melina fans. You guys, I am super excited to complete the Femme Fatale collection. We have Jade, Melina, now we just need Kitana Khan. Melina has had an incredible evolution in Mortal Kombat since 1993 to 2023. I would like to know, what is your favorite version of Melina? My favorite version of Melina is Mortal Kombat Deception. I think that's her best version of all time in both story and design. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite version of Melina is. I had to rearrange my one third scale statues to make space for Melina and Kitana. Look how massive these 1 3rd scale statues look next to the 1 10th scale statues by Iron Studios. One year ago, 
I was finally able to purchase my first house, which allowed me to dedicate an entire room in my house to my Mortal Kombat collection that includes statues, figures, props from the 90s Mortal Kombat movies, every Mortal Kombat game released in the US, VHS, vinyl records, magazines, comic books, art, pins, socks, t-shirts, and much more. Check out my Mortal Kombat room tour video to see my entire Mortal Kombat collection. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys. I'll be back very soon with more unboxing videos and I'll see you guys next time. Uncanny Carlos.